What's happening guys? Kibla Ahmed Art here. Hope you guys have been well. My review on Wonder Woman. I know I'm seriously, stupidly late, but I didn't get to watch it till it was really late. Uh, during the month of fast and it's been hard to get out and uh, catch most of the movies that have come out over the past couple of weekends. So, uh, guys, there's loads of reviews out and I'm not going to review the whole movie. I think DC has done a wonderful job. And Penny, who's directed this, did it so, so, so well. Uh, for me, guys, personally, when Batman v Superman came out, we didn't know the mess that the studio would put this movie in and to release, you know, two versions. But one thing that was amazing that came out of that movie was Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. She was the best part of that movie. And the way she carried herself in that movie was absolutely amazing. Guys, I'm only going to pick out on certain things, so some of them are spoilers, some of them are not. So, this movie was so powerful. Uh, as much as it will remind you of the first Avenger, I think you've, we've got to stop comparing movies like that. I mean, it's hard not to, uh, but let's, let's, let's take that out, because there is parts of it that will. But in a movie for itself, it is, it is its own movie it is great and because they set it in times in the first world war which you know no man's land these things happen at that time i think made the movie much more stronger uh i'm not gonna nitpick on things because i've just realized like i'm watching a lot of reviews as much as we give our honest opinions uh we sometimes slate people's work and you know destroy people's work load to be honest because you go and try and direct a movie uh trying to adapt something from a comic book or a book into a full length movie when you've got so much to you know put in when you've got 75 years of books and mythology and oh, it's emotional sorry because it's hard work it's not easy you know you have to make decisions on what you're going to keep what you're going to change you know because you're not catering for a type, one type of media or people anymore you're catering for everybody because at the end of the day they want people to go see this in cinema anyway i'm not going to get into the the mess and the emotional stuff of behind it but i gotta praise the directors the producers the people behind the productions uh you guys did an amazing job and you guys always do because like to be honest I still love all the movies. I think the geek in me will always love the movies. I won't nitpick on things like that because I live in a time and era where when I read this when I was younger, to say that yes, I was there when this movie came out and I saw it on the big screen and you know, tears rolling down my face, geek tears rolling down my face. You know, I'll never forget these things. These are gonna be cherished moments for me. But guys, I'm gonna jump in. There's like three uh, main points from the movie that really got me and I feel like I want to share these with you it was Gal Gadot playing Wonder Woman the fish out of the water scenario like the way she plays that innocence that pureness that you know she's on that one mission to to get areas to stop poisoning men to fight against each other uh, it was it was it was really touching because she played it so well you know all she wanted to do was make a difference and she did in this movie but i mean you know you kind of think if people was to think a bit more like that would work better as one but it doesn't seem it's i mean the reality of it, it doesn't work like that but in the movie she played it so well because she inspired others with her to say it can be done and it's always about those little things to make it even better there's that one scene guys no man's land when she comes out costume comes out that i mean i'm talking about almost brought to tears because how powerful that scene was and it's not even that it's once they get through there's a little run-in scene where she's going in and out and oh man it's uh, visually stunning like tears to the eyes guys i ain't gonna lie like being this uh, comic book geek and growing up reading these books not telling people that i'm into this stuff and now that it's out there and everybody's in it it's like ah oh, it's amazing i can share these thoughts with you guys it's amazing uh that's one powerful scene my god absolutely amazing uh chris pine 
added to this edition uh he as steve trevor oh my god him and gal worked off each other so well and he 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 was really good like he played the steve trevor that i know from the comic books uh the animations we've seen he's done really he did really well he played it and plus you've got all the supporting actors and actresses that played their part uh there's only the the one dude i forgot his name he played william shatner in uh, wolverine origins uh he was badly casted that's my only fault that probably you know there's a part where he, uh wonder woman comes into uh it was uh it was like a ball going on and he was going to do the experimental gas release and you know she was ready to kill him and he grabs her and dances and he goes, are you enjoying the parties? Uh, he, the accent and everything and the way he played the role, I don't think they needed him. They could have just kicked him out and kept Dr. Poison. That would have been better because I think Dr. Poison by herself would have been, you know, more concentrated on instead of having this extra dude. He was basic. Sorry, that was only the one part. Uh, another part, guys, that really got me was towards the end where sorry guys spoiler she's killed that general thinking it's an Ares and Steve Trevor comes up Chris Pine's character and she's asking like you know why are these people still doing this why are they still going to war and fighting and battling I, th I thought if I killed Ares that this this uh it would break you know people would just suddenly think what's going on and he says this powerful thing regarding people are just like that, you know. It was touching because it was like, he's talking about the world there because people are different and people are bad. Some people are just bad and it is people. There's, there's nothing behind it. Nobody's controlling it. We all have that free will to make our own decisions but some people just choose to be the way they are and yeah. That, that really got me. That absolutely was like, fuck. Hit me hard. But, yep, then you had the third act. You know, we're going to get that great massive battle. You know, we've got, we're going to see strength. Yeah? Uh, which was, I love that stuff. That shit is like absolutely visually stunning. Because, you know, you go back 10 years, 20, even 10 years ago, you're not going to see stuff. Well, 15 years ago. You wouldn't be able to see that in that sort of grand scale they've done it you know it looked absolutely gorgeous and it looked seamless and she looked great uh guys i am so excited to see justice league and seeing what they do i just found out today that danny elfman who did tim burton's batman and the first spider-man soundtrack is on the case so guys looking forward to that anyway guys i'm not gonna bore you any longer when i say math math there math here can't even speak i'm an emotional it's hot guys, very hot. I had to switch the fan off because it leaves a very annoying humming sound in the background and post-production's hell. But I want to say a massive thank you to all you new subscribers. Guys, if you like this video, click on the like button. If guys, if you share, share your thoughts with me and drop it in the comment below. Oh, that's a text message. Uh, drop it in the comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Uh, what Did you enjoy the movie? What did you like about it? What you didn't like about it? Uh, let us know. And guys, uh, have a wonderful weekend, guys. Yeah? Have a good one. One love. Peace.